can't find a way, I'll make one! A prayer for your wayward soul.
Hmm. Trouble. You, mercenary. You're coming with us. No. This man is my bodyguard. I am a priestess of Ilvana, on a sacred assignment. Here is my seal to prove it. You and the Vagrant are clear to go, Priestess. But your bodyguard is not. We received reports of many escaped convicts and deserters. Lieutenant Zaroff has good reason to believe your bodyguard is one of them. Lieutenant Zaroff? Vaughn. Now step aside, Priestess, and let us do our job. We have no intention of harming you. And you, Merc, drop your sword. I'd like to, but it's glued to my hand. I warn you, my orders are to kill you if you resist. I will not let you take him, soldier. Is that clear? I am sure this is all just a misunderstanding. Ladies, stay out of it. Yeah, you two should probably sit this one out. I refuse. Right. Soldiers, kill the boy and the soul searcher if they resist. But remember, we are not to touch the priestess. Incapacitate her if you must, but no harm must come to her. I am ready. So am I. I won't back down! Second squad, ready? Stop! By Ilvana's holy decree, I order you to grant my cohort full immunity. What? You. Is this really what you want, Priestess? Celine, what's Ilvana's decree? I am ready to take the oath, here and now. Is your renegade bodyguard worth it, Priestess? Once your seal is on the paper, there is no rescinding it. I have made my choice. What's Ilvana's decree? Let's get this over with. It is done. I admire your faith. There's nothing to it. By the way, after his capture or his death, I was supposed to deliver you a message. Stay out of my way, Celine. Vaughn. Thank you, madam. Do you know what that decree is, Myrna? It is an answer you seek from your sister's mouth, not mine. Of course. So, are you going to answer me, or...? Ilvana's decree allows a priest on a special mission to extend their immunity to their escort until they carry out their assignment. So you gave me immunity, just like that. Sounds too good to be true. There's a catch. Spit it out. If I fail in my mission to find a cure to the corrosion, it will mean I have abused Ilvana's mercy. As a punishment for this abuse of power, I will stand trial with you, and share the same penalty. The wh- The same penalty? 
Do you know what awaits those under trial for desertion? Why did you do that? This is completely crazy! You should have let me deal with this, Celine. I would have escaped somehow and... It changes nothing. I do not intend to fail. This oath is just icing on the cake. What you call icing on the cake is death! I am not okay with this, Celine. It was my choice to desert, and if there is a price to pay, it is mine to pay, not yours! Then help me find a cure to the corrosion, and everything will be alright. We'll both be saved. Everyone will be saved. <laughs> Always going forward, huh? It'll be alright, Darian. Of course it's going to be alright. I won't let you die, Celine. You better remember it. Yeah, yeah. I actually expect you to repay your life debt one of these days. Oh, this again. Seriously? <laughs> Where the heck are they going? Paris of Ophira. Well, thank you, Gavin, for clearing up the blatantly obvious. What kind of fools are they? Don't they know what happened there? Do they want to get themselves killed? Well, they probably spotted us and wanted to shake us off their tail. No. They're probably just imbeciles, but fret not, Gavin. I... I'm not fretting. I know a shortcut. Now there's something I still can't understand. Why you deserted? What's so hard to understand? My sister sent for help because our mother's sick. I figured getting ripped apart by an Arcolite war machine could wait until my mother was saved. That's not what I'm asking. You're the one with unclear motives here, Priestess. Why did you send for your brother? You knew there would be risk for both of you if he deserted. I'm sure the Sanctorium would have provided you with at least one bodyguard. So why do it? Keep your cinder-painted nose out of our affairs, Soul Searcher. Why did you two take such unnecessary risks? Because, because it's, it's our, our mother we're, we're talking, talking about. about! And we're a family. It's not all that complicated, Lady Myrna. For all his flaws, Darian is the only person I can trust with this mission. The world could be on the verge of destruction, and he would still be at my side, until his dying breath. Hey, you don't have to be so melodramatic. I know, it just came out that way. Nevertheless, I can't help but think Alfarius might be disappointed with your decision. My master is used to his favorite pupil behaving rashly. I hope you're right. By the way, Lady Myrna, when we're not in company, I'd rather you called me Celine. All right, but could you stop calling me Lady, then? We have a deal. For all his flaws? What was that supposed to mean? Oh, you know exactly what it's supposed to mean. Hey, what happened with Gustav that day was as much your fault as mine. I'm just saying. Life with you isn't all sunshine and rainbows. And you're such a saint? The most adorable little sister in the world. Ahem. <clears throat>
Let's make camp for the night. Sleep at last. <laughs> Batavia seems eager to go hunting on her own. Go catch yourself something, girl. I'm only asking for three more days. You're putting me in a tricky situation, Laura. I can only grant you one. Other matters need your attention. <sighs> then I'll have to make do. And there I was hoping you were gone for good. We need to talk. Whoops, not in the mood for jokes? Wait, no, it wasn't a joke. When did you say you were leaving? You're a burden to your sister. Strange, I don't remember asking for your opinion. You're a liability. I'm talking about the oath she took yesterday. You two share a very powerful bond. It doesn't take a soul searcher to see that. It's called a family tie, Myrna. <sighs> Let me ask you this. Would you risk your life to save your sisters? Isn't that obvious? What are you implying? Don't you think she would do the same for you? She... <sighs> of course she would. In a heartbeat. Think about it. That's all I'm asking. Celine is a priestess, and she has a purpose. A destiny. Surely you realized it in Jagholm. The way people look at her. The way she rekindled their faith in the Sanctorium. She has an important future. And you... I'm a deserter. A dead man walking. I don't like you or your shifty methods, Myrna. But... Maybe you're right. Maybe I am a burden. Wake up. Wake up. Both of you. We need to get out of here fast. Mm, what's happening? No questions. We have to go. Oh, damn it. Batavia hasn't come back yet. Now would really have been a good time for her to be here. And what's that glowing on your chest? It's a wound. A wound? You didn't tell me you were wounded. Where did you... On the battlefield. What kind of wound shines like that? The kind made by an Archolite weapon? But... I said no questions. Hurry up! <laughs> 